My name is Noelle Aiken, and I'm Director of Communications and Education for Petite Garden Centers. You may have seen the Backyard Wilderness movie at the Dome Theater, and so now maybe you're inspired to come and bring wilderness into your own backyard. Actually more science to bringing the birds in the backyard more than you think. They spread diversity, so they're seed eaters for the most part, and so they can distribute those seeds as well, and so we end up having a lot of different plant material in our backyards. They can help with also taking care of some of those bad insects that we don't like on our garden plants. Three things that you need when you're attracting wild birds into the yard is actually shelter, food for sure, and water. One of the most important plants that you can have in your yard are evergreens. They really depend on evergreens to give them some privacy, um, give them protection, shading as well. So another part of shelter is birdhouses or bird nesting baskets or different, you usually see them with a nice little hole in the front. Each bird has a different size opening that they like. So smaller birds, of course, smaller opening, larger birds, a little bit bigger opening. Typically a tube feeder can feed a lot of different types of birds. Tube feeders are really nice, um, very versatile, very easy to fill. Usually the top will tip off or sometimes these tops have little lids that you can just open and fill right into. They usually have a bottom that will come off as well so you can get there and clean them. So if you're a birding beginner and you're not sure which type of bird seed to buy, try a wild bird mixture. It has uh, sunflower seeds, whether it's black oil or striped sunflower. Sometimes it has little round uh, sort of yellowy guys, which is the millet. Um, sometimes it has uh, safflower, which is a white seed. And all of those seeds attract a number of different types of feathered friends. So let's have bird baths outside. And bird baths can be all different materials, concrete bird bath with a top and then the pedestal underneath. That's pretty standard. But if you have small fountains as well, so that bubble and move water, they really are attracted to that as well. Love to see you at Petite Garden Centers coming in, trying to really build up your backyard wildlife, bringing in those feathered friends, and you can enjoy it year round.